Hi. I look like a founding father right now, but that's not important. What's important is that it is February and I have my bullet journal set up and I am not late. I'm not late. When I began planning out this theme, I just finished reading The Great Gatsby, and so I was in a very 1920s sort of mood. However, I didn't feel like doing the typical geometric patterns that were so popular in the 1920s, and so this is not directly Gatsby inspired, but to me it feels the way the book felt. One thing that you might notice is different from how I usually do my setups is that I had something drawn beforehand and that's because I wanted to focus on all of those intricate details of this mirror, it is a mirror by the way, that I feel I'm not able to completely focus on when I'm under the camera. So we're coloring it on camera, I drew it off camera. I'm only using three colors for this setup, three Tombow markers, and I'll put what number color they are in the description. I know it's such a cliche to say, but January really has gone by really quickly for me, and especially as a senior about to begin a new chapter of my life, I am both excited at how close that is and also a bit bittersweet because I am enjoying my senior year. I wanted to keep this cover page relatively simple even though it does look a little bit more intricate and so I'm using just the three colors and then I'm also using this sort of elegant font and again this font is slightly inspired by the 1920s jazz age era. After I erased the pencil outline, I decided that it was looking a little plain and so I added some blue touches to make it feel a bit more like a mirror and not resembling a picture frame. And that concluded my February cover page. Very simple, very elegant, exactly what I had pictured. Then I started working on sort of the calendar spread on the opposite side. I drew another tiny little mirror. This one was a little bit more funky than the other one. I followed the same process, outlining it with the dark yellow, erasing it. I erased it first this time because it wasn't so complicated, then coloring it in with the lighter yellow. And then after that, I added some light touches from the blue marker. At this point, the entire spread felt very light and airy, and I didn't want to darken it up too much by using pen or black markers, and so I kept that light, sort of glossy feeling by only using those three Tombow markers. When I went to draw the calendar, I was very tempted to make it look like a patchwork quilt. That inspiration just struck me like a bolt. And I might have to do that at some following month because I can see it so clearly in my mind, a beautiful patchwork quilt. In the meantime, however, I just outlined the mirror I'm going to turn it into a mirror in case you hadn't guessed, with the yellow and then added some swoop de dupes to make it look fancy. Again, the intricate patterns on the mirror might look intimidating, but they're really just swoops and a little bit of ornate little doodles. My habit tracker for this month is even simpler than last month's. It really is just a row 28 boxes in length and then I colored each one a different color and called it a day. The simpler it is, the more likely I am to actually keep up with it. For the habit heading title, I finally whipped out my good old ballpoint pen and did those 
1920s letters that you saw on the cover page. And that concludes February's wrap up. I love this simple, elegant theme, and I really hope I'll see you guys stick around until next time. Bye!